हेलो बी एस सी एफ टी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज कॉफी प्रोसेसिंग नाउ इट इज ऑल्सो नेटिव ऑफ ब्राजील ब्राजील इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ कॉफी इन द वर्ल्ड नियरली सेवेंटी स्पीसीज ऑफ कॉफीज आर देयर साइंटिफिक नेम और बोटेनिकल नेम इज कॉफी अराबिका कॉफी Arabica is produced 75% in the world then coffee robusta that is 25% then coffee liberica and that is 1% these are the three main species of coffee which are used in the world the family is robuel then coffee is generally preferred for its uh, Uh, refreshing and neuro uh, stimulating effects now the it is prepared from coffee beans now we can see the structure of coffee these are the fresh coffee beans you can see and recognize it and then it is the coffee bean structure as you can see the red outer covering this is the outer skin and then after that pulp is there then mucilage is there then parchment is there the protection for seed then silver skin so these all are protection for the green bean which is under so many sheets so this is the structure of coffee bean now we can move towards the so you have got the point that what is there now uh coffee beans are covered you you have seen the all all of the parts of the coffee bean now this is the composition you can see the antioxidants properties by quercetin acid and other components are also there it is uh, carried the processing is carried out in two ways wet processing and dry processing so uh, now the wet processing is superior to dry processed coffee so now first is dry processing first is harvesting then drying the harvested cherries contain 65% of moisture content then they are subjected to sun drying to a thickness of 4 to 8 cm with periodical at least 4 to 5 times a day initial drying followed by hourly intervals for even drying and drying nearly 12 to 15 days is done now so then uh, plastic sheets are comfortable for drying then uh, moisture content is reduced up to 12 percent then we can see so uh, dry processed coffee have strong body aroma low acidity dried cherries are stored for several weeks and uh, so silver screen part of the beans coffee beans is removed for the appearance then now wet process then harvesting quality because it is the commercial process there uh, should be a quality fruit should be harvested so there are standards for harvesting like arabica should be 135 weeks old and uh, robusta should be 4 to 4 to 45 weeks should be plucked so 
then cherry sorting is basically is done to uh, up to the standards and that fully ripen material berries with the, all of the content intact then pulping is done pulping refers to the mechanical removal of red outer skin from fruit to obtain parchment coffee so the coffee beans basically so pulping is done then pulp can initiate fermentation so pulp should be removed and these are the specification of the pulpers so basically it is dependent on the species requirement and the standard of the factory or brand so basically pulper we have studied so many times so i am not explaining that then demucilaging mucilage part is wet slippery and outer layer of bean this layer is removed by fraction as beans move against each other this is this process is called demucilaging then after that fermentation is done fermentation can be natural uh, but for commercial natural fermentation is not done enzymatic chemical or uh, removal by attrition is done now natural enzymes are there fermentative enzymes are there so basically fermentation leads to absorption of moisture by beans and thus result in mustiness in final produce so enzymes details are there chemical details are there then removal of mucilage by attrition now you can see the picture and understand the process this is the process wet processing of this is you can see the conveyor belt and this is the process of attrition a small hole is used to push all the berries or uh, and this creates attrition or rubbing action between the berries and removes the mucilage now you can get the point so these are the details for chemicals so and uh, bruising of beans because beans are underneath so a uh, bruising of because we need beans intact so bruising can be a defect so removing of the outer layers uh, should have precautions so next to that soaking is done then cleaning is done basically all exercise is done to remove the outer part one by one and getting the beans and this is the wet process then drying is done so uh, moisture content of uh, wet processed coffee is 50 to 55 percent and it should be brought down to 10 to 12 percent so beans should be splitted in two once processes complete means uh, it is the indication of completion of drying process that beans are split in two so uh, control drying is uh, there uh, is done and after that finally grinding is done by rolling mills so we know the roller mills the cylinders which turn in opposite direction and it will run. now the brewing 
we have seen the machines coffee machines brewing the coffee through steam or counter flow of hot water in the coffee shops so basically the brewing is used can be done by machine at home or at coffee shop by percolation that is steam passing method and counter current that is hot water passing method to extract the as much flavor as it can from coffee so from bean to brewing this is the flow chart you can note down this flow chart and uh, make handwritten notes from this particular lecture